Fast five, fast four, fast X, fast forever, whatever. It's not going nowhere, apparently. It was supposedly re uh, reported that, you know, Fast X was going to be part one of the two part ending for the Fast franchise. Um, but that was a lie. Uh, or maybe it is. I don't know. But uh, then there was speculation. I showed y'all the videos of how um, apparently Vin Diesel was teasing the potential that they're going to drag it on to make it a, a like a trilogy part ending, a three part ending or whatever. Like why? I don't know. I don't know why they acting like they got so much story to tell when they just making up half of this stuff anyway. Um but apparently, even when that was done, even when that's done, that's still not going to be it. Because apparently, according to Vin Diesel, he says that the Fast and Furious spinoffs are in the works, and that includes a female-led movie. He said, I started developing the female spinoff in 2017 with other spinoffs. And the sooner I deliver the finale, the sooner I can launch all the spinoffs. I don't even, I don't, I don't even care about the rest. Um. So, there are a lot of issues I see with this. One. They already have the spinoffs kind of sort of in the works from 2017, which one red flag to me is the fact that this was six years old, right? Which means that if you have, let's just say, let, I don't know. I'm not even going to say that they have a script. He just said it's developing. But if you have something that's six years old that you're still working on, my question, my question is, is it still fresh? Is that six-year-old whatever, is it still, is it going to feel dated by the time it comes out? Why do I say that? Because he just said that the spinoffs would not happen until the, until basically the Fast uh, Furious uh, franchise, the main franchise ends. We just got part one. It's 2023. Okay. Part 11 probably won't be done. Let's just give it a gracious two years. It's 2025. And then if they want to milk it, if the these current movies don't flop and bomb, they'll probably stretch it to a third movie, which let's just say 2027. So you're going to go from 2017 to 2027, and you're going to potentially have a decade in between of a spinoff that you've been working on. Now, of course, you can update it along the way and stuff like that. But I'm just a little curious on if it's still going to be effective. The other reason why I bring this up, actors are going to get older. People might want to move on. Different things might be happening in people's lives. I don't know. But a lot can change in the next four or five years. And even within that, let's just say everything stays the same. My concern with the female-led movie is, first of all, that you have to call it a female-led movie. and the fact that you have to refer to it that way, what I don't like about it is that it's going to unnecessarily trigger the people that have problems with female-led movies. You know what I'm saying? It's like, why do you have to call it that? Why don't you just say, we have a spinoff and, you know, it's going to star some of the cast. And if it just so happens to have females in it, great. You know, like, that's great. Now, here's the thing. I don't really care either way. I'm just saying... I can already hear the stupid random people online complaining, oh, females, oh, women, oh, this is oppressive to men, whatever, whatever. This is too woke, whatever. It's like, why do you have to do this? You don't have to. Let the movie speak for itself. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Let it speak for itself. And even then, never mind the time it's going to take for this to develop. Never mind the fact that, you know, you're trying to talk about the wokeness or whatever of this. My issue with this is I don't care about these characters. Not one of them. 
not because they're females. I don't care about them because the movie franchise has done a terrible job developing the side characters. I've told y'all this before. One of the biggest problems with the Fast X franchise, because I've been a fan of it for a long time. I was a fan all the way up to uh, Fast Five. That's why I thought they left with a best movie. And, you know, I liked how they ended off with Paul Walker and, you know, Fast Seven. I liked the tribute. They should have stopped there. But one of my biggest problems with this whole franchise was the fact that they decided to focus everything on Dom Toretto. They decided to make Vin Diesel. I shouldn't say they. Vin Diesel decided to make this all about Vin Diesel. <laughs> that is where I think not only has the uh, franchise gone down, but it's lost its focus. One of the things that they could have done, and I kind of think would have served them in a better way, especially with the loss of Paul Walker. And uh, if you did want to do spinoffs, because there's a rotation of the team, they should have rotated every movie with a different character as the lead. One movie should have had, you know, uh, uh, Ludacris as the lead. One movie should have had Tyrese. One movie should have had Natalie Emmanuel. One movie should have had Michelle Rodriguez taking the lead. Now, yes, you still keep the same cast, right? Dom is still there. Rome is still there. Like, everybody's still there. But the focus should have always gone to a different character to elevate them so now people can get used to them and you look forward to better spinoffs with them. Not to mention, you'd have a better idea on testing the market to see do people even want to see a Letty, you know, a, a spinoff? Do people even want to see a spinoff with Ludacris? Like, you have to test the market, and you could have used the ensemble cast as a way to make that more plausible, especially after you lost The Rock. So to me, I'm just like, look, y'all messed up from the jump. All these movies focusing on, on uh, Dom Toretto, and one of the biggest problems, in my opinion... When you look at the first five, let's say, say the first three movies, Vin Diesel's character, Dom Toretto, what made him so great was that we didn't know very much about him. He was just a mysterious street car racing legend. That was it. And because of that, I was like, yo, I love it when this dude shows up because for whatever reason, he's just finna win or he's gonna do something to add this, this uh, secret ingredient to this franchise or to this movie look at tokyo drift tokyo drift was not that good of a movie i like the fact that they introduced drifting i thought that was cool but the movie was not that good but you know what the fact that they brought vin in at the very end in the post credit scene i was like oh that left a little positive taste in my mouth i was like okay that's not that's not good i like that you know look at dom toretto traveling the world doing more racing so again i am not looking forward to these spinoffs because the way these movies have been handling the characters, I don't think they do them service to elevate them, to generate uh, enough interest for spinoffs. I could be wrong. Maybe some of y'all out there want to see some spinoffs with these characters. I look at characters like Tyrese, and I've told y'all this before, I think he is the most expendable of the characters with his character Rome because... He don't do nothing. He ain't got no special traits. He ain't got no special abilities. He ain't got nothing that he contribute except in this last movie, he gave them some money. Like outside of that, I'm like, bro, like seriously, like why are you here besides being the butt of jokes or making whack corny jokes? Like show me that you can do something for the team the same way Luda can be like, yo, I'm the tech guy. The same way Natalie Emmanuel could be like, I'm the tech girl. You know, like what, what, what do you do? Why are you here? So again, uh, and my man Han, they played him bogus too. All he do is eat snacks. I'm like, y'all don't have nothing else? Nothing else? Anyway, um, y'all let me know <laughs> what y'all think about the fast spinoffs. Do you like the idea of a all-female cast? Um, do you like the feet the idea of them doing more movies and not ending? Please let me know your comments in the thought. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. This was just a segment of one of my live chats. And if you're interested in joining in on the next one, be sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications for more. I've got more videos and reviews to do for you all. And until next time, I'll see you all later.